as every MP expects to get, we received an awful uh, lot of emails trying to encourage us to vote a particular way, but some of the uh, nastier comments, some of the nastier images were things like uh, pictures of dead children. Um, I received an image of um, a supposed terrorist holding up a severed head and also rather a tasteless video as well, all of which were designed to specifically intimidate me, I think, uh, towards voting one way or another. I mean, you, you were debating war, killing people, and these things all happen mm, during wartime. I just don't is there any justification then for there sending isn't. you? Of course there isn't, no, because we live in a civilised society and it's just not a rational, reasonable thing to do. Anybody out there who thinks that MPs do not consider the consequences of the very serious decisions that they are making simply don't understand or possibly don't respect the MPs uh, that so are So you must have felt place. that intimidation then, as you took your decision, because you it's... were... No, well, I, I was very clear that I, I was undecided, I was unconvinced by David Cameron's uh, uh, statement when he came to the House last Thursday, and I wanted to make my mind up having heard the debate and having heard the Prime Minister again on Thursday. So I was undecided and I hadn't uh, decided one way or another, and I was, I was open to hearing it because I understood some of the parts of the uh, Prime Minister's argument, but at the end of the day, he did not convince me, and so I voted against the airstrikes, but it was absolutely nothing to do with any of the images that was sent to me. And if anybody thinks that that is a suitable way to lobby, to try and get uh, people to change their mind, then they're very much mistaken. OK, Bianca Todd, um, why are people doing this? Hiya. I think we have to be quite clear that actually it's not just about the, the images that people are sending on Twitter, it's actually about the messages and how they can engage with their MPs. We're talking about a new kind of correspondence. We actually haven't got time to go and knock on people's doors and go and phone them. We have to make sure we get the message instantly. We're talking about life and death. And the vote last night actually has meant that innocent people are going to die. And it's quite OK for members of their party to make sure they're expressing their views. That uh, seems quite reasonable to me. And now to deselect them for voting for airstrikes. I, I think it's important to make sure that the, mm. the members of the Labour Party and others are making sure that the MPs are quite clear on the, the consequences of their actions. Millennial? Well, it's insulting and patronising to assume that we do not understand the consequences of those actions, of course, of those decisions. Of course, we do. And we don't need those kind of images being sent to us because it's, it completely undermines the argument that these people are trying to present to us. And to be perfectly honest, if it, anybody it thinks all, that that is it? acceptable, if it were acceptable, it would be printed in newspapers, it would be shown uh, on news programmes like yours, but they are not well, because it, it we're is. in a civilised society and we understand that there are well, levels of talk. norms true, and Melanie. this breaches that. Bianca Todd? Well, that's, that's clearly not true because we see those photos, we see those images all across the media. We saw them in the Sun newspaper, we see them in the Mirror, the Guardian, we see them all across. No, they so don't. It's not they like blur them the out. MPs and haven't that's seen those why images the image, before. The image of the little Turkish... No, they don't. A little boy unless on the also, Turkish... No, they don't, and let's also be up. quite clear... That's why it was so just, shocking, just because we don't see those images. Melanie, just let me What you're doing, Melanie... What you're doing is talking about one particular image. But what you also said quite clearly from the beginning is that your opinion was swayed through the debate. Let, let's and get actually, beyond what your the images, shall have been we? Swayed from um, is the actual constitu is the constituents. Bianca it's about, Todd. You represent the members. You, that's important. Okay, let, let's get to the politics Sorry. of this. You know that you want these Labour MPs deselected. Now you're a member of Left Unity and Momentum. You're not a member yeah. of the Labour Party. What's it got to do with you? I guess what we're reason we feel like we've put this point of view out is because we support Jeremy Corbyn's politics. We support a new democratic, accountable politics. And whilst we know quite clearly, but it's not our decision whether or not MPs are selected or deselected and how that works, we do think the time has come for MPs to be accountable to their members. It's no longer that an MP can have a job for life. Well, Tristram Hunt just said... If you vote against said, the members' views, you should be accountable. Tristram Hunt just said on our programme, momentum isn't part of the Labour Party. Well, we 
might not be part of the Labour Party, but let's be quite clear that the majority of members of Momentum are Labour Party members. And whilst the right wing of the Labour Party might not like that, 200,000 people joined Labour Party for Jeremy Corbyn. They joined for a new part, kind of politics. They joined because they wanted to be part of something that's a little bit different. And Momentum is a continuation of the grassroots campaigning. Absolutely. Melanie, on, what do you yeah. make of well, these a people? Of, there's a couple of things I would say. We've had 15,000 people leave the Labour Party this month, and I think it's because people are decent people are worried about the kind of intimidation that they're going to come across from groups like Momentum. I'd also say that Momentum have released a statement that is contrary to that which has just been stated that said that it will not campaign or support uh, any branch of Momentum uh, actively seeking deselection of Labour MPs. Do you believe Whether them, they though? supported the war or not, no, I don't believe that at all. I think that it's a statement to try and um, ease some of the tensions. Um, and I think that Left Unity, if you, I don't know how you can be members of both because Left Unity have clearly stated the exact opposite that, yes, they will campaign to deselect members and that is completely the opposite to what Jeremy said that he wanted to do with the Labour Party and completely opposite to the statement that he's put out today that urges people not to attack, abuse or seek to deselect people who operated under a free vote system. Bianca Todd. OK, whilst we're not members of the Labour Party, and I quite hear what Mellon is saying, but what we think is that if you, as MPs, vote against the policies and the beliefs of your members, you should be accountable. We're well, talking about I mean, a new I kind of politics. I have to interrupt because we did a have a position at things, our why conference do you have to interrupt? that That's actually the kind of supported the action really in like, Syria. It? So it's not about... It, I mean, but you're, you're just completely going against the emotion that was passed at, uh, at Labour Party conference. But she doesn't care. She's not a member. She's not a member of the Labour Party. And I would also say well, that the Labour Why are you afraid? Why are you afraid of democracy? I'm, I'm not you know, afraid if, of democracy. If your local members don't agree with you, they're perfectly within their right to go with you, And I'll tell you why. Because we already have a system where if local members are unhappy, they can trigger a ballot ahead of a general election and they can see me on my way thank you very much but every single MP I mean I was only selected last year by my local party and then elected with an increased majority uh, this year on a, ge a general election so the idea that people who suddenly uh, have decided to get themselves involved around uh, uh, left politics in some way uh, would seek to try and undermine that uh, is quite inappropriate I just think. in the last few seconds Bianca Todd it's how many of those 66 do you think will be got rid of Probably not as many as, as should be. But what, the new, what MPs have to remember is that people communicate in a new way now. They communicate via social media and it is something that they're going to have to get used to. And they're going well, to have those to have sorts a, of images a tough mean set of skin come because off that's Twitter. how it works. We must leave it there. Thank you both very much indeed And then you're going to for disconnect joining us.